This is one of my most common questions I get asked as an admin. How do I recall an email? Have you ever accidentally sent an email to the wrong person? It may have been confidential. You may have sent an email out to the entire organization without realizing, or you were thinking about someone and you sent them the email. Um, yes, I am guilty. I have done it many times myself and each time I do it to this day, I still panic on how can I retract that email. I'm going to show you how. Before I get into the technical side of how to recall an email, I'm just going to give you some advice that I think is life changing. Just have your morning sip. Um, and that way it's going to stop you from sending that accidental email. Usually nine times out of 10, it happens to me in the morning before I've had my coffee. So there you go. That could help you before we even get to this point. So you can recall in both the new Outlook and the classic Outlook as long as you're on your desktop applications. So you need to go to your sent um, items folder and you need to find that email that you shouldn't have sent when you did not have your copy. Now double click on that email. Um, you'll see that ribbon up the top. Make sure you go to the three dots. And then when you go to the three dots and you scroll down in the new Outlook, you'll see straight away the recall message. If you're using Outlook Classic, you'll see like actions first and then you'll see the recall of the message. So that's how you do it. So unfortunately, I do have some bad news. There are some limitations with the recall feature. It's not going to save you every time. And this is because if someone reads the email, it's too late. They've read it. You can't recall it. So that's impossible unless you're Superman and you get to the recall button within five seconds. And if they've read it, there's no recall happening. Uh, number two is you cannot recall um, to external providers. So if you're working from your work domain and you've sent the email from your work to a personal Gmail account, uh, you cannot recall it. It's too late. It's hit Gmail servers. Can't recall. They've probably read it. Hopefully they don't. Okay, so another limitation is even if they have not read the email, um, but they've moved it from their inbox to say like project folder um, and it's unread and it sits there, you can't recall it. So they may never read that email. It may be sitting there for who knows how long it's in the junk or whatever they've moved it to. But if they do, well, there's not much you can do about it. It is too late. So those are the limitations, uh, guys, and just like everything in life, you can't turn back mistakes that you make sometimes and you just got to move forward. Um, same applies with Outlook. If you unfortunately can't recall it, well, that's life and it goes on and hopefully you didn't send something too bad and you can move on with your life. A handy tip for you all. If you really need a recall um, and you work for a large organization and you have a Microsoft 365 admin around, like myself, we have superpowers. We probably can help you. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee it, but most cases we can contact us and we can recall the message for you eight times out of 10. If I did help you save the day and the recall button uh, actually helped and you didn't know how to use it before and you've learned something from the Microsoft 365 SIP today, then please follow, like and subscribe because I'm only going to be doing more of these videos um, that will help you learn Microsoft and give you some handy tips and tricks. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye.